Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little while. Just want to do a real quick video, a little update on some 390 cylinder heads, some Ford FEs that I'm going to be uh, building for my uh, 69 Fastback uh, Stang. Um, I'll actually be doing the whole engine uh, over time. It'll probably take me throughout the rest of the year and probably into the beginning of the next year. Just a, a slow project that I want to be doing. Uh, just my own little personal build for a cross-country run basically um, we're going to try to do so anyway I just want to kind of show you where I stuck my starting point where I've already started on this um, the heads basically you know this is how I picked up the heads here and uh, normally these are 3 8 guides I'm going to go 11 30 seconds you know, a little smaller stem, a little more airflow, a little lighter. Um, and also, these here are 3 8 you know, for the rocker, rocker shafts, you know, these are 3 8 And I'm going to go 7 16 fine thread for a rocker plate that I'll be putting on. And there's a oil hole here I won't be using, so I'll thread that and tap it. And of course, um, when I put the springs on, this here will be machined. So to kind of give you an idea of what I got started on this one here, I already started on. I already uh, machined them down to 11 30 seconds guides. Okay, you can kind of kind of see the the new guides in there they're just 11 30 seconds I haven't done any seat work I won't be changing inserts I'm gonna keep the original seats but I'm going oversized valves so they'll have new metal so I'm not gonna uh, machine out the insert I'm not gonna worry about that um, I've already lowered this a little bit like here you'll see I have a little bit of a step okay well I know I'm not gonna be using this step so I went ahead and used the IDL and did all this work already and and machined it down just a little bit just got rid of that step and then to the new metal and I'll be probably going a little deeper once I get my spring package and figure out what what I need to do as far as uh, spring height okay and then here's the rocker shaft original holes which now be running uh, let's see if I can do it oh, I got the towel on my hand yeah so uh, I already tapped them 7 16 fine thread for my rocker plate. And this here is the hole. You can see I already tapped it. I think you can see it in there. For uh, a plug, because I won't be using the oil hole. Okay, so anyway, that's where I'm at right now. And again, I still have you know lots to do. I just want to kind of give an update where I was standing. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing FE to 390 60 over so and again I won't be of course I'll be trying you know I'll be reworking some of this and there'll be other stuff done and I'll be using the factory metal here I'm not gonna put no inserts in and again I'm not really gonna sweat that and the seats ain't bad but I'm going oversize valve so I'll be getting the new metal Anyway, so I'll keep you guys posted as I move along. So I'll probably do this one next, kind of catch up with that head over there. And that'll be uh, my first little step. I already flowed. I did flow this head without doing any seat work, though. I stuck a valve in there, and I flowed it. They flowed around two high 220s, 230. So I'll be above that, I know, when I get said and done. But anyway, all right, guys, uh, I'll keep you all posted. Thanks.